man, things are going well in the Evergreen State. Both Washington and Washington State are 3-0. Also, both programs have new coaches at the helm this season. So, Carl, how surprising is what you've seen from these teams to start the season? Well, it's definitely surprising that they got it turned around this quickly. Nobody would have predicted this. When you talk about what's going on at Washington and Washington State, you're finding two football teams who are excelling at the identity of their head coach. Last year, the Washington Huskies were one of the worst offensive teams in the country. They bring in Kellen DeBoer, who has been an elite offensive coach his entire career, going all the way down to the NAI and FCS levels. He has them looking like a well-oiled machine after being atrocious a year ago offensively. Then when you look at Washington State and you see Coach Jake Dickert, a guy who comes from that Tampa 2 defensive background, spent a lot of time with Coach Craig Bowl, who's at the University of Wyoming and was at North Dakota State, coming from that family of coaches defensively. He has turned the Washington State Cougars around on the defensive side of the ball. They had a great game plan against the University of Wisconsin and got a huge win. So what you see are two programs who got the right guy for their job and they have injected their identity into those football teams and they're both sitting at three and oh. Nobody would have guessed it before the season started. Yeah, Carl, Washington on Saturday might have been one of the most impressive performances of the weekend, in my opinion. I was blown away watching their offense. Michael Penix was was on fire. They've got a great system for him. Uh, th their offense was 115th in the country last year, and and they were just painfully bad. And and they got it going quickly. They lost a lot of guys to the transfer portal. They did bring some guys in that are that are helping as well, but. Very impressive for them. Playing at Husky Stadium has always been a huge home field advantage, and their schedule sets up very nicely for them this year. I look for Washington to be in the thick of the Pac-12 race at the end of the season. And then on the other note, watching uh, Washington State versus Wisconsin two weeks ago, very opportunistic defense, a great game plan. Uh, offensively, they didn't take care of the ball. They, they didn't play a perfect game but they still found a way to win on the road in a tough environment at Wisconsin. So both of those programs have been very impressive and uh, always enjoy watching the Apple Cup at the end of the year. This year, it should be a great game again. Certainly, and usually you have to wait a few games into your tenure to get that signature win. Both of these new head coaches have that signature win just three games in, but it's not just the new head coaches. There are some new quarterbacks too for both of these teams. So Carl, let's start with you, Michael Penix Jr. 10 to 1 touchdown to interception ratio. How much has he elevated the Huskies? Well, he's he's taking them to a completely different level by mastering what they're doing offensively and injecting leadership in them. If you have elite quarterback play, you're giving your team an outstanding chance to win. A lot of coaches look for guys that are game managers, guys that don't lose the game for them. But the great coaches really want a guy who can win in the game. He doesn't turn the ball over. He throws touchdown passes. He completes passes. And the big key is he takes care of the football. Very low turnover rate. He is the reason why they are going so well offensively. It's a great offense for quarterbacks to play. And if I'm a high school quarterback, Washington is going to be near the top of my list, especially if, I, if I'm out on the West Coast, because high percentage throws, They'll, they'll move the pocket, they'll throw the nakeds and the underneath routes, and then they'll take their shots to stretch the field. So it's a great system. And Michael Penix has, has looked like he did two years ago at Indiana and, and has got everything rolling for the Huskies right now. And the, figure, the familiarity between him and Coach DeBoer from any time at Indiana has to help also build a system. Yeah, it's working out well for them so far. Meanwhile, Cameron Ward also elevating what the Cougs want to do on offense. He had a lot of options when he entered the transfer portal, but he chose Washington State. Blake, how have you seen him help his new team? I think he's, he's done a great job. He hasn't played perfectly in, 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 the, in the games that I've watched, but he's done just enough. Uh, he he can he can throw the ball very accurately. I think just playing at, at, at a little higher level of competition 
is, is probably going to be a little bit of an adjustment for him to, to, to really get dialed in. But he's been a big upgrade for them. And Washington State always does a nice job of throwing the football around. And he's just an, a, a, the next guy there that, that's going to be a, a great signal caller at, at Wazoo. He's given them just enough offensively for them to win games and use their defense to really help control the game. Like Blake said, he hasn't played perfect yet, but he's getting really comfortable there, and he's going to make them an exciting team to watch down the stretch. Well, it's been all fun and games so far, but coming up, Washington State hosts 15th-ranked Oregon, while Washington hosts Stanford this weekend. So real quick, Carl, we'll start with you. Who's 4-0 and after this weekend? Well, right now, I really like Washington's chances against Stanford. I think they're going to have a good defensive game plan, and I think they're going to call Stanford a lot of issues. I'm going to go with the Washington Huskies being 4-0. Blake, what do you think? I agree. I think uh, for, for Washington State to win this weekend against Oregon is, is going to be a tough task for them. Uh, I like Washington's chances against Stanford. Uh, I think they're a better team. And as long as they don't, you know, have a letdown after last week, obviously they were juiced up and Husky Stadium was rock, rocking. So they got to keep that same energy this week or just like just like anybody in the country, anyone can beat you. And Stanford has just enough talent that they, that they could definitely beat them if they don't if they're not playing their A game. Fun time if you're rooting for a team in the Evergreen State.